Hello everyone and welcome back to another Stormworks video. In this video I'll be showing you how to use the radar components to get a functional video screen with a radar here in Stormworks. As always we'll go over the components that you'll need, we'll show you how to wire everything up and then finally we'll show you how to code the lure block to actually get that radar on a screen here in Stormworks. Now if you're enjoying this video, comment below and let me also like to see any of my future videos. While you're there, don't forget that like and subscribe button and make the little bell icon to notify my upcoming content as soon as it gets posted. So I said, let's get straight into it and get started with this tutorial. So before we get started with this video, a couple things to just point out. First off, this is not going to be a proper math lesson. I'm not going to teach you exactly how math works. I'll just be showing you the code that you will need to get the actual radar functioning here in Stormworks. Now, of course, if you want to go into more detail or if you know better code or better math to get it working besides what I'm doing, fine be it obviously please comment and let me know in the in this video itself um, but this is what i found is work and it's pretty simple to follow and understand now before we can actually get started with working on the code we have a base here in the actual um, workshop itself now we're going to be building a small little control panel and that's where we're going to put our monitor and everything else that we need to actually work on along with that is let's go and get a screen on now the screen is where we're actually going to go and see our actual radar itself. So I'm going to be using a two by two screen here. Along with that is we'll need a way to switch the screen on. So I'm actually just going to be going and using, let's see, let's go and use a circuit breaker just over here. That's a nice way to go and actually turn it on and off. And then lastly, we will also need some electricity. So I'm just going to grab a battery. I'm going to put a battery underneath here just to hide it and make it a little bit more simple and a little bit more nicer looking. Okay. Along with that, because we're using a circuit breaker and not an on off button, we will need then to go and use a constant signal, okay, constant on off signal. And I'm going to place it under there. That means pretty much that we flip the switch, it sends electricity to everything and it turns everything on at the same time. Now for the radar itself, you could go and use any of the radars. I'm going to be using just the standard radar just over here. Now, one problem with this is that you can is it actually does do um, rotation inside the radar. However, it uses a 0 0.2 uh, positive and a 0 0.2 uh, negative. It goes only in one way in theory. Um, so what I prefer to use here is going to be a velocity pivot. Okay, so you can see we have a velocity pivot here. Now you can see that the positive is facing left and the negative is facing right. We don't want that. We want the radar to actually go clockwise. To do that, we're going to just invert it, rotate it round and place it down. Okay, and then finally, we're actually going to put our radar on. I'm going to just elevate it a bit, grab the radar just over here and place it down. Okay, so we have the components that we're going to need so far. Okay, let's go and get everything hooked up to start with. You can see we have our on signal, which is going to turn our screen on. Our electricity is going to come from our battery, go into our circuit breaker, and then from the circuit breaker is going to turn the velocity pivot. It's going to turn the radar, and it's going to turn our monitor on at the same time. Okay, quite basic so far. Okay, along with that, we also want to get our radar to turn on uh, and we want it to rotate. Now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to say we want a rotation speed of around 0 0.1, okay? So I'm gonna place another constant number here. I'm gonna put it over here and I'm gonna hit 0 0.1. I'm happy with that speed. Obviously, you can go and play with it and adjust it as you feel fits. So the speed is gonna go into our rotation block here. You can go and test this now if you want to. It's pretty basic and pretty straightforward as it is right now. We literally turn it on, it turns the monitor, and you can see it's now spinning that radar right over there. If you want to always know what angle it's facing, you could just add a couple blocks here during this example, and you can see as we turn it, it goes and turns it around like that. Now what we want to do is we actually want to find what number is coming out of that current rotation of that velocity pivot. Now to figure out what that number is going to be, I'm just gonna go and grab a digital display, put it over here, because I wanna know what the number is, okay? So I'm gonna add that up there, grab some electricity, go and add it to that digital display, spawn it in, turn it on, and you can see here, 
0.5 is this side and it's going to go all the way up to one there and it's going to continue going round and round and round so that's our number that's coming out of that okay so that's perfect okay so you can see it gets to in theory for one rotation it gets to one okay so zero all the way to one okay pretty straightforward on that so far now what we want to do is we actually want to start building our screen or our Lua script up to work with that data okay so I'm going to go and grab a micro edit controller and we're going to start with a brand new one properties I'm going to increase it to a decent size okay I'm going to call it radar new okay along with that is let's go and start adding some logic so to start off with we want to get that number that's coming out of the varsity pivot so for a number input and that's going to be our rotation okay very basic basic so far the next thing we want to do is also know when we are actually hit something so when the radar has found something so once again input that's going to be target found okay along with that we also will need the distance of that number that or that target that we've just gone and found from the radar okay so we've got those two things of course because we're also using video here we will need a video out so let's go and grab the video and that's going to be to our screen okay so basic so far we'll probably need some more but let's go and just do radio video new okay and add that in let's go and read our new let's go and close that off let's go and find it in our there we go we just found it let's go and place it down and then let's see what we're missing from this okay so Going over here, you can see that our current rotation is going to go into the screen here. We also have our target found. What else do we need? Elevation angle, we're not going to do in this video. Target distance, we do need. Signal strength, we don't care about. Field view, we don't care about. And facing your, we don't care about just yet. Okay, so that's the basics of what we need so far. So we have all those things there. Don't need composite, electricity we've done already. We've got that all hooked up. Our video, we can go and get connected. And we don't have any audio. So let's go back into our actual processor and let's start writing a couple different things. So the first thing we need, of course, is to separate all this out and get it all set up and ready. Now we want to also go and get our radar start to get built. Okay, so radar is just gonna go over here. Okay, and we have our Lua scripts. Now, guys, just FYI, before we carry on, this is bugged at the moment, as you just saw right now when I highlight this. Apparently the devs are sorting this out, so just bear with this um, during this video because it is at the moment in 9.6 currently bugged. Okay. Now we can get, uh, let's leave this stuff, pretty much most of the stuff on the screen right now we don't uh, need to get rid of. We can leave most of it here. Okay, because currently it's getting a number in, it's getting a number out, it's getting our screen with our screen height, it's setting the color to green, which is great, and it's drawing a circle filled at the center of the screen. Now what we want to do is we want to have a radar which is also a circle at the center of the screen, however we don't want it filled. So to unfill it, we're just gonna get rid of that F. So currently it's drawing a, um, a circle at the center which is width divided by 2 and height divided by 2 at a radius of 30. Now radius of 30 we don't want okay we want the same radius of the screen because we want to fill the whole screen with this radar. Now we can get the actual Lewis script to do that for us. To do it all we can do is R is going to equal to width plus height okay so the width is 64 height is 64 and that gives us a total of 120 uh, 128 and we're going to divide that by four okay to make it square okay along with that we can then replace the 30 with r okay now in theory that should go and work if we go and spawn everything in um yes okay i just want to double check i think we connected everything that we need at the moment yeah we did perfect let's go spawn that in and let's go check that we have a circle on our screen yep there we go you can see a perfect circle that exactly the same size 
of the actual screen that we're using, which is a two by two. That's also rotating, which we don't need just yet. So the next thing we want to do is we want to actually draw a line on our screen to show the rotation of our radar. So as the rotate, as the rotation of the radar goes round, we want our actual line on our radar to go around at the same speed and the same time. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is we need to go into our actual radar. Now we need a way to know what that actual screen is going or actually the radar what angle it's going at so we can use the rotation of our velocity pivot to come into our Lua script okay so we need to go and add a way to convert that number into composite to do that I'm just going to use a composite right number place this down I'm gonna say oh we need 10 channels why not we'll start with 10 channels okay so we're gonna get our number in which is number one and that's gonna go in into our Lua script okay so we're gonna say that uh, let's go with Let's say our rotation is A, and that's going to equals to input dot get number one. Okay, perfect. Let's copy and paste that. There we go, input get number one. Great. Okay, along with that is we're going to go now and start drawing our line. So to draw our line, we can grab that code right over there and say, okay, draw line at X1. Well, that's the center of our screen. So that's width divided by two and height divided by two. And then we want to put the next point. We want the point on the actual circle. Okay. Now to get that, you will need a little bit of math. Now the math that you will need, as I said earlier, this is not a math tutorial. I'm not going to explain how this works. I'm just going to show you what code we need. Okay. So we need X2 and we also need Y2. So the code we'll need for this is pretty straightforward. Okay. So we're going to need the center of the screen. So we already know that's width divided by two. We'll need to plus that to the radius, which we already know is R. Okay. And we're going to need to times that by math dot cos. Okay. And then in brackets, we will also need the actual angle. Okay. Or the rotation that we're already getting here. So I'm just going to delete that. Okay. Same goes for the X2. We just do height divided by two. Okay. Which is the center of the screen again. Rotation. Okay. Times it by math dot sin this time. Okay. And then in brackets, once again, the angle. Okay. So there we go. We have that code. Now in theory, that should go and work. Let's go and check it out. That will know exactly what point of the actual uh, graph it's on or actually on the circle. So let's go turn that on. And you can see there as we're going, we're going around and it's moving that line along the circle going around. The only problem is that it's actually not it's off uh, it's off its number you can see here that this has got two rotations but it still hasn't even completed a circle over here now I know what's wrong with that is that because this is reading when it does a full rotation it gets to one okay that's a full rotation for one however on a actual screen itself it goes all the way from zero degrees all the way to 360 degrees okay so we need to actually up to this number here because it's not making a full rotation now the calculation for that is pretty simple all you need to do is go and take that rotation number and we're going to be go and times it by 6.28 to make a complete circle okay so now if we go and spawn this in you should see that as that rotates we'll get a same rotation on our screen okay so you can see there going around and goes all the way around the only problem though is when we started it always starts here on the right which is not correct because it doesn't mean that it's on the right angle it starts on the screen facing that way however our radar starts facing that way okay so we know that zero point so we know that 6.28 is the entire screen itself so what we're going to go and do is we're going to say that if we go back into our Lua script just over here we're going to say that this line is incorrect. It's actually ahead by a certain amount. So we're going to take 0.28 and we're going to divide that by four to get four sections of the screen. Okay. Now the number that we're going to get out from that, let's go and do the calculations quickly. So we have 6.28 and we're going to divide that by four. And we're going to get 1.57. Okay, so we know it's a head by 1.57 on the angle. So all we're going to do is we're going to take a minus 1.57 and we're going to do the same for the second one over here. Okay, and let's go now and see if it's now at the center of our screen at the top. Okay, 
So if we go spawn then, oh look, there you go, it's at the top. As this rotates now, that's going to rotate and they're perfectly in sync, okay? Just a simple calculation to go and figure that out. Perfect, so we now got that all set up and working. Okay, so we've got our radar actually moving around the screen. Now, if you wanted to add in some extra complex or extra detail onto this, we've decided that we want another line trailing behind it. Okay, so it almost creates like the sphere moving around. Now, to do that, what we're actually going to go and do is we're going to add a new line. We're going to say the color is also going to be going to be green. However, we're going to add some transparency onto it. So we're going to say 50 is the transparency. Okay, actually, let's go and do why don't we do 150 is the transparency. We're also going to go and use a triangle. Okay, so you can see here we're going to go and grab and we're going to do a filled one. So a triangle filled. Okay, so triangle filled is going to be from the center of the screen, which is width divided by two and height divided by two. And we're gonna go and take it all the way over to X2 and X1 and Y2, sorry. Okay, so that's fine. But we also want it to go back probably about five degrees or 10 degrees backwards, okay, from where we are. So what we can do is we can go and just say X3 and uh, let's say Y3, okay. They're going to be the same as these. So we can just copy and paste this. Let's change this number to three, change the number to three. And we're going to say that it's behind. Now, how much behind you want, it's up to you. I'm going to go with maybe like another 20. So let's go and make that 77, okay? Now, in theory, that should go and draw a trail behind our screen, okay? So let's go and spawn that in, turn it on. And there you go. You can see we now have a trail behind our line that is going and picking actually going and drawing okay so it's just drawing a nice little so thing between behind that okay as i said you can get a little bit complex with this you can add more make it bigger make it smaller it's really up to you okay now the next thing we want to do is we want the actual radar to go and pick up something on our screen okay so as soon as it detects something we want it to go and draw a dot on our screen okay so this is the next cool thing so let's go and just make a little more space on our Lua script here. We're going to need to wait to take our on off block to when it's found something and convert that over to composite. So we're going to go and use our composite right. Once again, let's go and put 10 channels oh, starting channel one. Let's go and put 10 channels on that. And let's say that this is going to connect through there into our Lua script. And we're going to say this is going to be number two. Okay. So that's going to be our second one. So if it detects something, it's going to send something on channel two. So let's say T, which is going to be target equals, and we're going to do input dot get bool, and we're going to do one. Okay, perfect. So that's going to be on one. Next thing is we want to draw a little dot on our screen if it's found something. So to draw that little dot on screen, we're going to say, well, if T, then screen dot set color because we're going to have a red color if it's found something okay and we're going to do red so r 255 zero dot zero and close that off and then we're also going to do a little circle but this time we're going to do a circle filled okay so circle filled perfect let's go and copy that paste that in so draw circle okay filled at x y and radius okay radius we're going to go with the one radius because we want a small little dot on our screen okay and x y now x and y is going to position where the radar currently is at the moment which is just over here so we're going to use x2 and y2 okay perfect so now if it detects something okay it will point and it will drop a dot on the screen where we want it however we know that X2 and Y2 is the edge of our screen. Okay, that's what we know already. We know it's the edge of our screen. We don't want it at the edge of the screen. We want it somewhere in between, depending on the distance. Now we'll come back to that in a couple minutes. We'll just test to see if this works and if it finds something and actually draws something at the edge of the screen. Okay, we've got an arrow, we've got end. Okay, we're missing an end here. Okay, perfect. Let's go spawn that in. Let's go and check it out. Let's see if it actually is working. Okay, if it does, it should draw a little line at the edge. Okay, 
So if it finds something now, it won't find anything except me or that uh, fuel tank there. So let's go and see. As it goes round, it should draw a little dot. Okay, it still hasn't found anything. So let's increase the radius here of our little dot. Uh, it probably helps if we actually change that to two also um, because we had it on one, which was incorrect. So let's go and place that as now channel two, which we did set. And now it should actually, in theory, go and work without increasing the distance. So let's see if we get a little red dot. Yep, there we go. Can you see that little red dot? It picked up me and it picked up that fuel tank. Perfect. So we got the little red dot on coming on the screen. However, now we want that little red dot to come up depending on what the distance is. So if it's far out, it's gonna to go to the edge. If it's close to where the radar is, we want it at the center of the screen, okay? So we need a way of measuring that distance. And that's why we have this little distance number coming in, and that's actually gonna be coming in from our radar itself, okay, where it's found it. So to get our actual distance on the actual screen to come up, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking the distance over here and we need a way to convert it because we know that our actual radius of our circle is only 32. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking that distance and we're going to be using a function block and we're going to be dividing it by 32. Okay, I'm going to say that's number two. Okay, so it's going to be X divided by 32. And that's on channel two. So let's come back into our Lua script and let's say that our target angle, now let's say target distance, okay, is input dot get number two. Okay, perfect. So TD equals da 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 da. Okay, that's great. And now we can come on to draw circle. Okay, and we can actually start configuring it a little bit different because it's going to be a different position, okay, on where we want it at the screen. Okay, and you can see here we can change it by using a radius. So, what we're going to do is we're going to copy all of this. Okay, we're going to place it down here. We're going to say x4 and y4 is with da 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 plus instead of using r, we're going to use td. Okay, td over there. Everything else we can leave it as it is. Yeah, that's fantastic and now we can change that our circle is going to be on x4 and it's going to be on y4 okay you can either use sorry you guys can either use the uh, first radar point or the second radar point it's up to you there I'm using the second radar point okay and let's go and spawn this in now update it jump it in and now depending on the range it should draw in different places on the screen. Okay, so let's go and watch it. Okay, and you can see, oh, it's drawing it all at the center. That's because we have a total range of 5,000 for this radar. And the stuff it's detecting is probably within a couple meters. Okay, so it's gonna always draw in the center of the screen. So we want a way to actually tell the system to change the maximum range that we can have. Now, to do that, what we're going to be doing is let's go and grab our small keypad. Okay, place it in. And we're gonna tell the small keypad that let's say the max distance is going to be 25 or 50 or 100 and so on and so forth. So we need to add a way here. Let's go and let's put range. Okay, number input perfect. Let's go and grab that. Okay, we'll come back to that in a couple seconds. Let's just go and connect up our small keypad. Small keypad going in, make sure it has electricity. Yes, it does. Now we can go back to the Lua and let's start working out. Okay, so we know that our total range currently is 5,000. So let's go and constant number, and that's gonna be 5,000, okay? So that's our total maximum range. This over here is going to be the range that we want. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using once again, another function block. We're gonna say is the total range of 5,000. Okay, and then we have the range that we want. So we're gonna say total range, which is X, and we're going to go and divide that by Y, which is the range that we want, okay? Which is going to be like 500, 200, 100, and so on and so forth. Okay, that's going to then output an equation. So for example, if it's 5,000, that's the maximum, and the range we want is only 500, we're gonna have an equation of 10 that's going to come out. Okay, so what we want to go do now is we want to go and tell that this distance coming here is going to be times by this. 
Okay, so once again, let's go and grab a function block. Okay, we're going to say that this is going to be times by this and it's going to equal our new distance. Okay, so x times by y is equaling our new distance. Okay, so let's go and spawn that in once again. If we come over here, spawn that in, turn the system on. Okay, there we go. Let's say that our distance is now going to be, let's go with 200. Okay, let's see now where it picks up everything on the screen. There we go. Okay, you can see it kind of just came on there for a couple seconds and then went away, but it is drawing it at different areas. So you can see, look, it picked up that and picked up me really close to it. If we increase or decrease it to 100, you should notice that I'll come there and then there, there we go. Okay, and it came in for a split second. Okay, now that's not really helpful because it doesn't actually tell us uh, that it's something's there. It's going away too quickly. Now we can change that. How we can do it is two ways. First thing what we need to do is we need to tell that system, tell the system that on signals coming in and we need it to hold there for let's say two seconds, okay? Now what we're going to be using is we're going to be using a capacitor for that, okay? So you can see we have our capacitor coming in there. I'm gonna tell the system, actually you know what? If it comes in, it detects something, it's gonna sit on that screen for about two seconds, okay? Which is fine. Let's go and spawn it in and test it. Now, I know something's going to be wrong with that, but let's go and actually just have a look. Let's say 100 is our range that we want. Okay, and look what happens. Okay, it detects something, but the problem is it's detecting as it's moving, which we don't want. We want that actually to hold and sit. As soon as it detects something, we want it to hold and sit there for a couple seconds. We don't want it to move back into the center of the screen. Okay, now to do that, we can come back and we need a way to actually register or memory to memorize the number of where the radar is and hold it there for let's say two seconds. So what we're going to be using is we're going to be using a memory register for that. Okay, we'll need two, well actually let's start with one memory register just over here. Okay, because we're going to remember where it is on the screen in the rotation. Oh, and actually we will need another one because we will need to remember what the distance of that part is, okay? So we want to remember where the distance is. So let's go and grab that. And we want to remember where the rotation is, okay? So we want to go and grab those two things just over there. So next thing is what we can go and do is we can go and say, well, if it detects something, we want it to hold it so we can set the memory. Now, instead of setting it all the time, we just need a pulse. So there we go, pulse, and we're gonna pulse it. So when this is detected, okay, it's gonna pulse this on. Uh, okay, target found, pulse it, and it's gonna lock in the two things, which is going to be one, the rotation, and two, the distance of where it is on the actual screen itself. Okay, so it's gonna lock it there. Now we're going to go and take that in. Okay, and we're going to say that let's go with our top one, which is going to be our distance. Okay, can actually override our actual number two, and then our position of the angle is going to go to position three. Why not? Okay, however, we also need a wave to tell it that it stops remembering that number for after five seconds. How we do that is we use a not block. Okay, so it says after those five seconds, it goes and turns these to be reset. Okay, straightforward. The last thing we need to do is we need to go and code in number three. So we come back into our Lua script. We say, okay, so the target angle, okay, or target found angle is going to be equal to three. So let's just go and replace this quickly. Target angle, and that's gonna be number three. Okay, and we're gonna say, okay, target angle that is going to go and come over here okay target angle target angle because that affects our line which is down or our circle which is down there okay let's go and click that let's go and spawn this in and see if it works now okay now in theory that should go and hold the position at one point let's go and say our target distance is 100 okay let's turn the system on it's going to go and find it and in theory it should hold that dot Okay, it found something which is really nice and close, which is probably me. Okay. Okay, and you can see it's holding that for quite a few seconds. Let's go and move away here. 
Okay, still finding something very close. So let's go and change that to, let's say, 200. Still very, very close. Let's go and have another look there and see what's going on. So let's go back into our microprocessor. So let's have a look here and see why it's not picking up anything. It seems like, okay, so we have a target found. When something is found, it's going into the capacitor. It's then obviously holding that charge and sending out an on signal for, let's go, two seconds. And then it's going into, so it's actually not telling it to hold that, which is wrong. So this actually needs to go to our push to toggle. And then the push to toggle should go there. That should then fix it in theory. Um, so let's go and spawn it and let's go and test it one more time. So let's say our target distance is 100 meters. Let's go turn on. I'm going to get out the way and see if it detects that fuel tank. There we go. Can you see it's holding that fuel tank? Now it's ignored me because I'm within that two seconds of when it's rotating around. So you can see oh, it went and found that if we go and stand before that tank, it should detect us. Yep, there we go. Can you guys see it detected us now on the range? We can go and drop this down. Let's go to 50. Oops, okay, it didn't find anything. Let's go 50 meters. Let's see where I am close to the radar. There we are. You can see there I am on the radar. It picked me up first. Uh, I think that's probably about 50 meters. Let's go and see what it thinks. Okay, it didn't find that. It just found me again. Let's go and increase it to 200. There we go, and it found that, which I'm guessing is is that, yeah, let's go and see, that should be the, yep, it's over there, increase it to 300, and that should go and move in closer. Yep, there we go, can you guys see, it's going and detecting things, so that's a fully functioning radar, as I said, you guys can get into a little bit more detail about that, um, I think I might do another tutorial and showing how to get multiple different, um, different places so it can find me and it can find that and show it both on the radar obviously you can increase that um, time it shows on the screen to how little it shows on the screen it's really up to you uh, you can increase the speed of this it, it's it's as I said it's really up to you if you want to increase the speed let's go and put it at 0 0.15 okay that radar should now move at a quite a quick speed so let's put it at 100 let's go and turn it on you can see now it's rotating much quicker Okay, it found that once again. So it's really up to you. And as you, you can move this around. So let's say we move it facing that way. You can see now, look there, it went and found that again. It's gone a little bit out of the range of scope. So let's put 150. And let's see, that was the old position. There's the new position. So you can play around with this as much as you want. But this is pretty much the very basics of how to get it to work i said you might want to try different radars uh it really is up to you but that's pretty much about the basics of it so i think we'll go ahead and end today's video over there thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and found it some entertaining and informative as always and we'll see you in the next one